Hey everybody, we are here today uh, doing an indoor launch monitor test. We are putting the new Invisage N1 up against the Unicor IXO2 launch monitor. So since this is a brand new launch monitor, there's not a lot of data out there right now. Uh, Invisage says it's gonna be super accurate. So we wanted to put it up to the test against the Unicor IXO2. It's a tried and true launch monitor. It's one that's been around and we know is gonna be accurate. Uh, so we're gonna compare some numbers between the two and see what we get. To conduct our test, we are going to be doing 10 shots each with the driver, six iron, and pitching wedge. We're gonna be looking at carry distance, the ball speed, and the total spin from each launch monitor. So obviously, this isn't gonna be your typical setup. Uh, we have two launch monitors here. They are mounted right next to each other. Um, you know, we did some testing beforehand. It seems like everything is working out just fine. Uh, so just keep that in mind as we're going through the test, though. So. So you might be noticing that we're using some marked golf balls today. Um, obviously the IXO does not need this, uh, but the Envisage does require these special marked golf balls. You'll get a dozen of these with the Envisage and they are required if you want to be able to get data out of it. So without further ado, let's get to the testing. Two hundred five point one ball speed is one forty two point four. Spin is four three five five. Both of them started off to the left. My normal slice back around the. Uh, I'm just trying to look at kind of where it started off. It looks like they both started the same direction. The Unicorn had it coming back to the right more, which makes sense because it, I'm sorry, I'm just looking at numbers. It makes sense it read a little more side spin than the uh, Envisage did, uh, but pretty close. Ow. Time. The Envisage showed more of a slice than the Unicorn. It was kind of opposite of last time. Uh, but overall, same general direction, just more slice on the Envisage. Carry on the Envisage was 211.4, 136.3. for the ball speed. That was really close. And then spin, uh, 1898. Carry distance, oh my God, to 11.7. Those shots were almost identical. Like same path, same carry distance. Ball speed was 132 and a half. Total spin was 22.99. Those are almost identical. Uh, 154.1, 111.3, 56.53. That was pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty close.
150.6. That was not a good shot. <laughs> I don't know what happened here, but I shot it straight to the right. Uh, I mean, the data was fantastic. Holy crap, the data was right on. Yeah, John must have just aimed it or something when he clicked into here. Oh, shoot, sorry. <laughs> the data is, is like dead on. So that shot, uh, I hit it really well. Both launch monitors, the data lined up almost perfectly. Um, somebody behind the camera, not Mike, but somebody else behind the camera may have clicked way off to the side on our uh, screen recording for the, uh, for the Envisage, so it shows the ball going like straight to the side in the canyon. That was 100% John error, so if you're gonna let somebody have it, uh, just let him know in the comments about that. That one, the shot shape was pretty close. bad. Well, you've got to give me a second here because it's not loaded yet. Shot shape looks, uh, again, very similar. The Unicor has it going just a touch higher than the uh, Envisage. The Carl! <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> the actual movement of the golf ball between the two looks almost identical. Uh, side spin was within, I mean, it was less than 100, what is that? I can't do math in my head, 70 RPMs, so very close. Oh, the shop sheet looked really good on that one. That was pretty bad too. almost identical. Started off just to the right and just kept going. <laughs> so yeah, so I, both of them look very similar. Similar height, the launch angle is the same within 0.3 degrees.
that was a that was real close. Shot shape was almost identical. I said the shot shape was almost identical, and I don't think that's weird because the side spin was very different between the two. That was Huey. Yep, both of them show a terrible shot, that's for sure. Going the same terrible direction. So we just finished up with our testing. Um, so we're just looking at the numbers and kind of getting our final thoughts here. Uh, comparing the two launch monitors, just kind of looking at the averages uh, for the three metrics we were measuring. Again, carry distance, ball speed, and uh, total spin. Uh, you can see when we look at the pitching wedge, um, the average uh, percentage that each one of those was off. Uh, for the carry distance, uh, there was just a 1.73% difference. Ball speed, 1.37%. And then the spin difference was off. It was a little higher, uh, 4.7. Uh, so the carry distance and ball speed, super close to each other. Uh, spin difference was still really good, maybe just a, a touch higher on the, on the spin difference. All right, moving on to the six iron. Um, looking at the averages, uh, we see the uh, carry distance was off by an average of 2.69%, uh, the ball speed at 2.06%, and the spin 7.27%. Uh, so the numbers were a little bit further off on this one, but I would still say very good uh, to be less than, I mean, less than 3% on carry and ball speed. Um, less than 10% on spin difference. Uh, pretty accurate uh, between the two launch monitors. Moving on to the driver. Again, really close on the carry distance uh, with 2.96% average difference. Uh, the ball speed under 1%. It was 0.99% average uh, difference there. So that's pretty dang amazing. Uh, then the spin difference, uh, again, under 10%, 9.06. Um, so overall, both launch monitors were very close to each other, especially when it came to uh, the carry distance and ball speed. So given that we have carry distances that are less than 3%, um, you know, the ball speed difference is really close. For the driver, it was under 1% difference. Um, looking at the shot shape, they're very similar between most of the shots. There was, you know, Every once in a while, it was a little bit off, but you know, nothing that would concern me. You know, looking at the Envisage, comparing it to the IXO2, I mean, I think it can definitely hold its own, especially at the price points. You're paying almost three times as much for the Unicor. So I think the Envisage is definitely worth a look. So that is it for our testing today. Uh, if there's any other data or tests you wanna see us do, please let us know in the comments below. And as always, like and subscribe for more content on building your own golf simulator setup.